Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yas ala kohloimla Yahweh b'asim yomashai b'hashem rechachach dash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. They by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to take the water to all the Akim and Nachwaf that saw here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'asim yomashai to the best of their ability. Jach and Nachwaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit, and um. As you can see the title here, it says white people deserve reparations for fighting civil war, GOP candidate says. So, hey, this is how they get down. And you know you, you know who's who he's aiming towards to vote for him or the people that think that way. It's a lot of them, too. I mean, that's pretty much everybody that's thinking that um, Donald Trump is still their president. Now, this is a touchy subject, so I'm going to keep it classy. You know, I'm just going to, you know, it's for educational purposes only. And mainly for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you know that, hey, you're not Americans. These people stole you from another continent. They brought you here. And now you're calling yourselves what they call themselves. No, you're Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. And, and the Lord, Yahweh, is the true name of our father. And Yahweh Shah is the true name of his son that he's, he sent and sending again to get us out of the hands of our enemies. And, and that's the, 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 the nature of the gospel. That's the good news of the gospel, man. That the Lord is sending his son to get us out of this situation from under our oppressors. Because these people would never, ever, ever, ever truly like you. That's just not going to happen. You can call yourself American all you want to. You can go and get your American um, t-shirt with your hat and barbecue on 4th of July all you want to. It's never going to be a point where they're going to look at you as true Americans. Because they're not true Americans. They stole this country. And all they've been doing is fighting, 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 whether it's against each other or whoever. But they've been fighting since this place has been a nation. So let's get some of it, though. It says a Republican running for senator in Ohio believes descendants of white soldiers who died of civil war should receive reparations. Bernie Marino announced last week he was running for U.S. Senate in the state of Ohio. During his announcement speech, he brought up the reparations movement taking place in America because, see, um, Yahweh is starting to rile Jake up. Now, whether you're going to get some reparations, I doubt it. <laughs> So-called white man. I mean, this place is like $100 trillion in fucking debt. Where, where do you think they're getting money from to give you? And if they do um, decide on giving you some reparations, it's going to come in the form of a chip. They're going to want to put a fucking um, computer chip in your ass to, to perpetually enslave you. <laughs> you, that MOTB man at Revelation 13 16 you're not going to be able to buy or sell so if they're giving you any large sum of money they're going to be like hey this coming in a digital form but you're going to have to you know let us put this implant underneath your skin if they're giving you anything because this 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 man is sneaky he's crafty and the scripture says to never trust thine enemy okay it says um he brought up reparations movement taking place in America but instead of supporting or even condemning the movement he suggested the descendants of the U Union soldiers who died in the Civil War are the ones who deserve to be compensated. They did get compensated. They was in the fucking army. They got paid to be in the army. It's just like a, a soldier in the army now. They get paid. It's not like nobody is in the army for free here in the Americas, man. It wasn't like that then. They got paid for going to fight. It was a job for them. <laughs> it's that they, they, they got compensated. So you see how these people think? It says they talk about reparations. Where are the reparations for the people in the north? See, let me get this this quick scripture, man. I got it. Because hey, the scriptures come to light, man. These scriptures are, are real, man, and, and true. Let me see here. All right? Let's go straight into the scriptures, man, to show you who these people are. Because these are Esau. The, the, the biblical name for the so-called white man is Esau Edom. See, they talking that shit about white this, white that. But no one looks like a glass of milk. No one looks like snow. No one looks like the clouds. These people are pink to reddish in color. There's no such thing as black people. There's just different shades of brown people. But they came up with those social constructs and they used their media to demonize us as a people. When in reality, even over in Serbia right now, the, the so-called white man, wherever he's at. It's a lot. I don't know what happened. But wherever this man is at, it's always going to be death, murder, kill, kill, destroy, man, because that's what he was designed to do. Because like I said, even over in Serbia, they just had a school shooting of a 13-year-old, a damn Edomite, a so-called white boy that ran up in the school, killed eight people, eight of his fellow students, and um, a secure, I think a security guard or a teacher.
that's their, 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 is. But let me just go off into this one. Let's get this though. Yeah, man. And these scriptures are, are cutting Esau ass up, man. But the Lord is starting to rile um, the people up, man. He's starting to um, raise um, Judah up, man. And all of Israel. Because that's your you so-called blacks, um, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's your true nationality, man. And he said that in the last days, he's going to wake us up. Hey, and it is what it is, man. There's the great awakening of the Israelites, man, going on out here. Let's go to Psalms chapter 73 real quick. Start at verse 3. It says, I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain, and violence covereth them as a garment. See that? That's them. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. You can't tell me this is not Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. But they, they, they can never have enough. It says they are corrupt. This is the point. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. And that's exactly what this man is doing. He's speaking wickedly and, and, and loftily, you know, when it comes to the oppression of the so-called blacks in this place, man. You see? It says um, they talk about reparations. Where are the reparations for the people in the north who died and saved the lives of black people? See? This is how they think. Real prideful. They didn't save no lives of black people. Because when you look at what, what was really going on, man, the North one, the hell, it, it was slaves in the North. It was, it was Northerners that had damn slaves. That was all about money. It was all about greed. The Northerners wanted a part of that free money that the Southerners was getting from all that free labor that they was getting. That's all that it was about, man. It was about greed, man. It wasn't about no, that you, the fuck you think the so-called white man just all of a sudden, he just jumps up one day and like, oh, we got to free those niggers. Nah, man, get the hell out of here. So-called white people, not even, they don't even like themselves like that. Okay, it says, um, he says, I know it's, it's not politically correct to say that, but you know what? We've got to stop being politically correct. See, that's the, you know, they, they the king of gaslighting. He continued, the same group of people later, white, the, the same group of people later, white people, like I said again, they're pinkish to reddish in color. You, you're never going to see somebody look like a glass of milk. Um, white people die for die to free black people. It never happened in human history before, but it happened here in America. That's not that's not talked about in schools very much, is it? It's not talked about in schools how the fuck y'all lynched us and castrated us and used the baby as alligator bait and all that raping, robbing, and pillaging. How you made purses and wallets and shoes and shit out of our skin. All this stuff, man. None of this stuff is being talked about. But you want to talk about some shit like that. But that's why I brought out that scripture. They, they, they speak loftily concerning oppression, man. They don't care nothing about you Negroes. And y'all keep running out here voting for these clowns, man. It said, and you know, it's, so, it, it, it's some so-called black people that think like this, too. It says, they make it sound like America is racist, a broken country. It is a racist and broken country. Here you go. Matter of fact, let me see here. Check this out. I was just in here. Check this out. What's this, uh, the guy they got for, this guy right here, right? No, this is not it. But this is the guy right here. Let me see. The, 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 the damn drag queen that they got is the, is the, here you go right here. They got a damn drag queen for the face of a recruitment program for the U.S. Navy. You trying to tell me this place is not broken? You crazy as hell. This place is through. And we applaud it, man. We applaud of the fall of America, man. <laughs> Straight up. We applaud the, the fall of this place, man. This place is not coming back. Here he go. Let me see. He says, um, where was we at? Matter of fact, they got, you know, his little speech right here. We can, we can play it. It says, they make it sound like America is racing, racist, a broken country. And, and we see it on, we see it on a continuous basis. What the fuck do you mean? This place is not racist. And we know for a fact this country is surely broken because because the only people that's really um, have any comfort here is the LGBTQ. <laughs> they're really the only ones and a few other so-called white people that's still at the top before their fall. 
It says, um, you name a country that did that, that freed slaves, died to do that. The hell out of here, man. See, these people, boy, I'm telling you, man. Let's play this little hookup, and we'll grab a couple of scriptures. Better than anything, but what were the people that came before us? And we stand on the shoulders of giants, don't we? We stand on the shoulders of people like John Adams and James Madison and Alexander Hamilton and George Washington. That okay, but didn't George Washington have um, the teeth of slaves? He had slaves' teeth pulled out of their mouth for to make his dentures. But that's not talked about in the schools neither, right? Come on, man. You, you, you so-called white people, your history is horrible, man. Your track record is horrible. And, but yet and still, you won't admit to it. <laughs> but the Lord is going to make you admit to it. Matter of fact, let me grab this. I don't know what's going on with my blue letter in this bad boy. These people, yeah, they, yeah, they speak wickedly concerning oppression, man. You yeah, know, the phone is about to die, too, though. What's that, uh... That's Ecclesiastes. Ah, come on. Yeah, it keeps doing that. I don't know why it's doing that. It's Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And Yahweh required that which is past. You, you, you so-called white people not getting away with all that shit y'all done, man. And that's the reason why your country is falling. And everybody is laughing at you. You got a, a, a senile ass president. His whole cabinet is a, a bunch of damn um, starbursts. And then you got, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, companies like the huge American companies that's been around for 100 or so years, like Budweiser, falling because they're promoting the, 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 the starburst crew. You see? Then here you go. You got the Navy. They trying to recruit people into the Navy by using a, a, their spokesperson as a drag queen that's in the, in the, in the Navy. And you see the video of that guy, man, he's just, uh, you could tell he, he wouldn't mind being a POW tied up. Trust me. <laughs> he wouldn't mind being a prisoner of war tied up somewhere. But anyway, let's get some more. Let's see. This group of people that took on the largest empire in history and said, no, we will not stand for this. And what? That same group of people later White people died to free black people. It's never happened in human history before, but it happened here in America. That's not talked about in schools very much, is it? They make it sound like America is a racist, broken country. You name a country that did that, that freed slaves, died to do that. You know, they talk about reparations. What are the reparations for the people from the North who died to save the lives of black people? That's right. And I know it's not politically correct right to say that, but you know what? We got to stop being politically correct. We got to call it like it is. See, and it's the hatred that they have for you, so-called blacks, man. It's just like you see um, what they got that video with the so-called white man um, choking out the, the homeless so-called black man on the subway in New York. It's how they feel about you, man. But 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 you best believe, hey, this place is falling, spiraling, all out of control, and this is why you you're starting to see stuff like this, man. It's really their their last um, hoorah, so to speak. It's their last grasp. You know, they're they, they trying to hang on, but man, the ship is is sinking. You see, y'all better start putting on some life jackets, man. <laughs> y'all better, hey, you better watch the Titanic, man. Take a note from the Titanic, man. When that fucking ship started to sink, he wasn't no bringing it back up. They was dropping the lifeboats, and, and, and it was only a certain amount of people that was really making it, too. Because a lot of people, you know, hey, you don't want to go down with the captain, man. Because this place is finished, man. It says, Moreno seems to be taking a page of the All Lives Matter playbook, which, with his nar narcissist, narcissistic, but what about us take on reparations? And that's how they get down. The so-called white man, he's the king of um, gaslighting, man. Firstly, soldiers who fought in the Civil War were paid for their services, just like I said, unless they were black and fighting for the South. See, the ones that said that was black and so-called blacks in the South, they didn't get paid, man, to fight in that war. But the North, I think um, it was a, let me see what it do, does say. 
while their black counterparts made seven dollars a month. So they made thirteen dollars a month. And, and and of course, you know, Jake not getting paid but the so-called white man is getting paid. And it says history proves they were already paid for their participation in the war. Claiming Union soldiers deserve reparations for the Civil War is just another means of distracting people from the real conversation around reparations and why black descendants of slaves deserve them. See, the reparations movement in America has picked up steam over the past few years. Currently, California is pushing the topic into the spotlight with the state-backed reparations task force committee. The task force will release its comprehensive set of recommendations for what reparations will look like for descendants of slaves in California July 1st. Yeah, we'll see what they, and I'm telling you, man, these so-called white people, man, they're they, they going to go to war, man. They give you niggas some money. <laughs> Economists in California meet with the uh, reparations task force, met with the, meet with the reparations task force last month and estimated it would cost more than $800 billion to compensate the descendants of black and slave people in the state. Damn, that's just in the state. Woo. Also proposed but not included in the $800 billion was a recommended $1 million per older black resident for health disparities. These figures were proposed by a handful of economists and policy experts tasked to report possible figures to the reparations task force. But I mean, hey, it didn't matter, man, because that's not what we want. Any so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, man, if that's what you want, you a fool, man. Forget them and, and their falling dollar, because that dollar ain't shit no more anyway. They give you all that money, man, inflation gonna go, you, you gonna really roll into hyperinflation. It's going to cost you a million dollars just to fucking get a gallon of gas in your car. <laughs> they ain't about to let that shit ride, man. Anyway, let's get this right here because these are the true revelations right here. All right? Revelations chapter 13. Start at verse 9 and it reads, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. See, this is what we're waiting on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's what we're patiently and faithfully waiting on. We're waiting on our Lord, man. We're waiting on our Lord. Let me see. It's another one. Um, let me see. What's that scripture? See, we're not going to do anything carnal. We just kick back. We just waiting on the Lord. And he's, he, he's, he's tearing this place apart from the inside out, man. Zephaniah. 3 and 8. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So, hey, we're just waiting on the Lord. That's our job, man, to teach these scriptures, prophesy that the end is coming <laughs> and our Lord is going to handle the business, man. That's all. Hey, we got to do our part. That's all we got to do. But we're patiently waiting. But let's get this one. I'll end out here. Yeah. How are Because I'm telling you, man, these people, they're all they've always thought that way. And they're going to continue thinking that way. They're, that shit ain't going nowhere because the fight is between Esau and Jacob. And Jacob's hand held onto the heel of um, Esau when he was fighting in the womb of our foremother, Rebecca. It's always been a so-called black and a so-called white fight, man. That's the protagonist and the antagonist of the movie, the good guys and the bad guys of this movie that the Lord laid out, man. And it's going to happen until the end. And the Lord, when he comes, that's going to be the dramatic grand finale of the movie. And he's going to destroy these so-called white people, which are the top um, enemy of the Lord, according to Psalms 83. All these nations hate the Lord. That's why he says he's coming with great indignation and wrath upon all these nations because the Lord is coming to take the crowns off of every single one of these countries' heads, man. These, 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 these kingdoms of the so-called whites, Chinese, Japanese, all these kingdoms, man. The Lord is coming to take those crowns, man. And when he takes those crowns, we're going to be ruling. Coheres to him. Our kingdom is going to stand forever. It's not going to be no more. You so-called white people will never get your hands on another weapon in our kingdom. You're going to be so goddamn tired from working that you're not going to even want to even do anything but get you a little piece of sleep. And by the time you get into a good REM sleep, you're going to be waking your ass up to put you right back in the fields, man. Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. And that's what we're, we're witnessing. That's why they grasping for straws like how they're doing right now. 
here you go, you got a so-called white man, a whole bunch of goddamn elderly people that's damn near in hospice. The crypt keepers need to be in hospice with their boy Jimmy Carter. You see what I'm saying? Along with their president, that's president right now, he needs to be in hospice as well. Talking about some the, the, uh, 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 civil war. Northerners should be paid reparations. They ain't thinking about you so-called blacks, right? He's not even apologizing. Oh, well, I know that that doesn't sound politically correct, but yeah, with the gaslighting, man. But see, <laughs> it's nothing he can do. They're, they're desperate, and it's nothing they can do, man. They're falling. I mean, you, hell, even you got the so-called white people in Russia fighting so-called white people in Ukraine right now. You have all these NATO nations, which are so-called white people, just ready to just rip their own people apart if they don't agree with the, you know, with them. Here you go. You got the so-called white man in America. He's he done been throughout the world. He don't give a shit, man. These people don't care who they kill. They don't care who they'll drop a bomb on. They'll drop a bomb on their own people. In the meanwhile, you got all kinds of drug addicts. The overdose rate for their asses is through the roof. Hell, even car accidents is knocking the asses off. But them drugs is really doing that. They, their generation, they, they, their new generation, Gen Z, doing the asses all kinds of dirty. And here you go. What they should be promoting is y'all having some babies, man, and trying to keep y'all race going, which is not going to work anyway. But you think that'd be the idea that they would have. Since you're dying off quicker than you're being born, because ain't no so-called white people having no babies like that. Like straight up. You know, it, you know, it surprises me when I see a, a, a pregnant so-called white woman. Every now and then you'll see, uh, uh, you know, one of them in a Walmart with some with one or two kids. But that's not, you know, these younger generation. Oh, hell no, nah, man. These little some little white women are not getting pregnant. And these so-called little white boys, hey, they're not even interested in these women to even impregnate them. Because they know that the so-called white man have made it unaffordable for them to even have a family. Having a family in America is not even thinkable for this new generation of so-called white kids or white young men and women. Come on, man. So that's what they need to be focusing on. But nope. What do they focus on? Still keeping you Negroes down. And y'all just don't get it. And y'all y'all keep running with this man. <laughs> keep running with this man. So when the Lord comes to destroy this place and you you down with the enemy, your ass going to get destroyed right along with him. And that's why we bring out these lessons, man, to let our people know you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native, Native Americans, you are in the last days. It is high time to awake out of sleep and repent, man. What's that? Uh, let's get this mic a two and ten real quick. And it reads, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. See, and continue on in this place. Continue on celebrating Thanks still and in 4th of July and you know what I'm saying? Your, 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 your idolatrous white Jesus Christmas and all that other shit. Keep, keep, keep rolling on along talking about you an American and see where that gets you. Here you go. You know, we done been here down there 500 years and these people still won't give your ass no play. But yet and still, you're proud to be an American. As I was in the store last week or so <laughs> and I was telling her, uh, uh, talking with this lady behind the counter that was a cashier or whatever and I was like oh, America you know telling her that you know America is trash basically and this so called black guy he turned around and looked at me like he wanted to shoot me because he loved this place y'all love the oppressor the scripture says um, 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 envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways what, is, what does Jake do they go and try and get the, the, the jobs and go to their school so they can live and just live in a whole white community here you go. You the only nigga in the, in the neighborhood, and they looking at you like this nigger. <laughs> Here you go. You 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 rise up just to go and try and be like your oppressor. I'm getting away. I I got. I want something better. So the, our people's thought pattern of what what's better is to live like the so called white man. This treacherous fella. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec and to show you. Hey, this is the days and times we're in. Here you go in 2023, going into 2024, and this motherfucker is thinking about some 1600 shit on your ass. And this is how a lot of them think. That's why the scriptures tell you, I'm telling you, man, it says never trust thine enemy. You're not supposed to trust these people. But our people, they run out and they trust this man. They trust him with their life, man. 
Y'all better come up out of this place, man, because the Lord is getting ready to make that return. Because this place, you can see it. Hey, the ship, I'm telling you, the ship is sinking. <laughs> it's only a couple of life rafts, man. A couple of life jackets. Everybody else is going down with the ship. Y'all better get you a life raft. You better get on the life raft. You <laughs> get you a damn life jacket, man, to get to shore. Which is this truth, man. You know, and I'm just making up an analogy there. But this truth, man, is like, you know, a, li a life jacket, man. You see? But hey, it is what it is, man. So um, I pray that the lesson was edifying with that Kwame Solo.